Here we're asked to solve this equation. This equation is in exponential form. We've got to know 15 to the what would equal 36. Okay, so, and it sounds kind of complicated, and you're going to sit there and, if you're doing guess and check, you'll sit there all day with it. But there's a better way to do it. And the way that we do it is we take the logarithm of both sides. In other words, we're going to add a logarithm onto both sides. And you can either add a uh, log base, any base will work. Uh, natural logarithm will work or log base 10 will work. I will demonstrate log base 10 because it's the easiest to plug into your calculator. Uh, but lo natural log will work. Any of those will work just fine. So that's why I chose a log base 10. So all I basically did, remember, it, it, as with any equation, as long as you do it to both sides, you'll be fine. Okay, so I did it to both sides. I've got log base 10, 15 to the k equals log base 10 of 36. Those two are equivalent, okay? Now what we want to do is we want to move that exponent way out in front. Okay, I've got this k. I'm going to move him way out to the front right now. Okay, and remember whenever we're expanding our logarithms, we're allowed to do that. When we do that, it should look something like this. Okay, so I've got k times log base 10 of 15 equals log base 10 of 36. Now, the reason why we move this k out in front, you'll see here, is because the object here is to get k all by itself. So we're, in order to do that, we're going to divide both sides by this log base 15. Okay, divide both sides by log base 15. These two will cancel out. Okay, so now I have a k equals log base 36 divided by log, or excuse me, log base 10 of 36 divided by log base 10 of 15. Okay, now what we need to do is plug that into our calculator. We need to see what that equals. Okay, so let's do that now. Let me bring in our calculator here. Bring it on in so we can actually see it. Okay, so now I just, I'm just going to type this in. You'll notice this button right here just says log. This is your log base 10. So I'm going to go log, and you notice how it automatically starts a parenthesis. So now I'm just going to type in 36, and I'm done with that now, so I close my parenthesis on it. Log base 36, and then I'm going to go divided by log again, and it opens my parenthesis again. So that's 15, and then I close my parenthesis. You need to enter it in this way, and you hit enter and you get your answer. If you just start entering it in uh, log, and then you go log 36 divided by log 15, uh, you're going to get a different answer on it. Okay, you'll see that your answers are not the same. This second one here is incorrect. You forgot to close off the parenthesis, and that's what gave you an error. Okay, but it should be this 1.32328 on down the line. Okay, so now we're going to which will give us our answer 1.323. That is rounded to the nearest thousandth. That's three decimal places.